Working with Multicam inside of EDIUS, I've got to say this right up front, that this is just another way that EDIUS kind of stands out away from other programs. And the reason being is that the individuals that write this program, they are, I don't know how they do it, but they seem to fit something that could be very, very complicated into a very simple process and yet keep the parameters on it, keep the ability to be able to work with it and do the little adjustments you need to do so you can be complicated if you want to. Multicam is exactly this way. Now, we're going to get away from our project here because basically there's really nothing for Multicam in this project. So I'm going to go ahead and start another sequence. Now, just so you know, and I really haven't pointed this out to you yet, that if I right-click on that tab right there and go to Sequence Settings, I can change the name, Multicam, and then select OK. Now I have this called Multicam. Sequences are just a very quick way like this right here that I could do something more complicated with several different assets. And then like I did before when we were talking about the track mats, be able to place it inside of another sequence and never have to worry about it getting screwed up because it's literally contained in its own wrapper or its own timeline. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add another video track here. So now that I have three video tracks sitting right here, and Multicam is a very simple thing to use. Sometimes doing these chapters is kind of funny because I would love to sit there and fill you with, you know, 25 hours of training material. But to tell you the honest truth, one of the wonderful things about this program is, is that you can do some very intricate stuff and not have to spend a lot of time. First off, I went into the bin and I kind of cheated. I went in and opened up all my folders here so that we could see everything so you didn't have to watch me do it. But I'm going to come into my multicam shots here and I have a wedding here by a good friend of mine, Steve Moses. And uh, he let me have this footage and basically what has happened here is, is that I've just grabbed about a minute of each one of these to be able to show you how easy it is to use multicam. We can do up to 16 cameras simultaneously. So if I go up here to mode, and then I drop into multicam mode, you're going to see the change here. I have it set up to where I have one, two, three cameras right here. I'm able to see a master right here with the three cameras sitting down below it. However, if I go up to mode again and go to number of cameras, you can see here that if I sit there and say, well, I want to have four cameras right here, then what it's going to do is, is it's going to do one, two, and three. There is room for a fourth here, but now my master is over here. So whenever you see the number of cameras, when it says plus master, it's going to try and shove it into one area. But when it doesn't have that, it's going to try and place the master over on the right-hand side. And as you can see, we can do up to 16 cameras simultaneously. Now, sync point right underneath that. I can do a asynchronous where all, everything's just going to kind of come down end to end. Or I can go to time code. Now, let me explain a little bit about time code, because if you're going to do it with time code, that means that all the cameras are going to have to be synced, meaning that you might have to have a time code generator or a black burst if you're in standard definition, whatever it happens to be. But you would have to get a time code generator, and it would have to be able to go out to all the cameras so all the cameras have the exact same time code. However, if you want to just get close and you don't have that, then you can go with the recorded time data stamp, which means that on your files, there is going to be the time of day there. And as long as all the cameras are set, and you can do this. I had a friend of mine that had three different cameras. They were all the same camera, and with one remote control, he had all three cameras in front of him and set the date and time to the exact second on all three cameras. And then you're not going to get right to the frame of them being matched up, but you're going to be within 30 frames of them being matched up which makes it really easy to be able to, you know, just fudge it a little bit and make sure that everything is lined up completely and totally. Now, I will explain this also, just so you can see, I don't have this capability here because I don't have footage of this way. Usually with multicam, a lot of times the problem we run into is that they'll shoot a multicam shoot, but they'll sit there and, and start and stop cameras, which makes it just a nightmare to line up because you might have 200 shots sitting in there. Well, what's nice about EDIUS is, is that if those cameras have what's called free run time code. Now, free run time code means that when you stop the camera, the time code keeps running just like a clock. And so the next time you start recording, even though like on tape, it was right next to it, there would be a big gap in the time code because the time code continued to run. Now, when you were bringing that footage in, remember when we were bringing footage in, we could put a real name or real number on that footage that was coming in. And so if we broke it up by time code and we had 200 shots in there, it all had the same real number, you could actually use 
EDIUS in multicam and do it very quickly because when you brought the shots down to the timeline, anything with the same real number would line up on the same track and would be separated by the amount of time code that it's separated by. So in other words, if there's a minute gap in the time code, then the first file will be sitting here at the beginning and then the next one will be sitting down one minute later and it would have a gap in between them. And so basically you could still do multicam even though they start and stop the camera because of the fact that free run time code enables all those separate clips to be lined up perfectly and with all the rest of the clips from other cameras. So basically it's a very, very powerful way of being able to line your cameras up very quickly and be able to work with them. So I'm going to go to sync point time code here and all I'm going to do is grab my three clips. When I bring those three clips down, notice that they're not going to sit end to end with each other. They're actually going to line up by the time code that's there. And so I have my first camera, camera two, and camera three sitting right here. And let me go ahead and open it up to where we can see that it doesn't end at the same time either. Now, what's kind of nice is that it automatically sets some markers for me because it says, oh, this is the only camera that's available. So it set the markers automatically for that camera. And then as soon as camera one came in, it set the marker there for camera one. So basically when Eddie sees that there's only one camera shot there, it's going to automatically put in the markers for that. Now this is how hard it is to use multicam. Please watch very, very carefully. I start to play it. You'll notice that as the different cameras come in, they show up over here. Now if I'm a mouse type person, I'm just going to sit there and click on each one of the cameras. And notice that as I click on the cameras that a new marker is going down. So I have the ability to be able to do this. Now when I stop playback, I want you to see that all the footage has been cut and all clips disabled that were not picked by me in between those markers. So it's basically already finished. Okay? Now, if I want to, I could actually go faster than real time through here because I could kind of rip down here and go, oh, you know what, right there, I just double click, it brings one up. I say I want camera two on, on the next one. And then I come down and go, oh, right there, double click, I can pick camera three, excuse me, camera two. So I can literally come through faster than real time if I know the footage and be able to go through and cut through this very, very quickly and actually do it faster than real time if I wanted to do it faster than real time. So I'm going to pick this last camera right here. And by the way, you can also do it if I'm playing that footage right here. I can also sit there and do it by hitting one, two, or three on the keyboard. And that also is going to set it. And when I stop it, of course, it's going to be already cut up. Now, I want to be able to just put it up on a single line, put some transitions in between it, and be done. So I'm going to come up here to mode. I'm going to come up to compress to single track. I'm going to compress it to a new V track. So there are all my shots now on four. Now watch this. I select four and I hit control A, which is select all in Windows. Come into my effect. Go into my transitions, and I can place that transition between all of my shots, and I'm finished. And now I'm going to get out of uh, multicam mode by hitting F8, and I can sit there and play through and watch it go right through with all my transitions sitting on it, and literally that fast I can be done. Now, however, I'm going to just undo here a couple because I want you to see this. I can go through, by the way, and get back into multicam mode. I can adjust after I'm done. And depending upon the view, let's say I want to go down to a 10 frame view, I can go in and adjust very, very slightly the video in there. And I can change cameras. If I say that I wanted camera three on that one instead, I could go to camera three. If I'm on this one saying I want a camera one instead, I can change it to camera one. I can shorten it. I can lengthen it. I can do whatever it is I want to do with it and be able to literally go in and very, very tightly make sure that all my cuts are absolutely perfect. And then once again, I just go up, compress to a single track, select that track, hit control A to select all of them and bring whatever transition down I want to. And notice that it just highlights all of them, brings it right in. I'll just hit F8 to get out of it, and I can sit there and play. Like I said, 
Multicam is very, very powerful. It allows me to work quickly. It allows me to be very precise, but yet it's so fast and enables me to be able to put those transitions in and whatnot. And now I'm ready to drop this into my main project if I wanted to and have this wonderful sequence ready to go. And that's Multicam.